Hey Lions, we're going to finish um, our next chapter for Stella Diaz has something to say. Uh, we left off on chapter four and remember she was very embarrassed because she fell um, off her chair and she spoke Spanish. Um, and if you remember, her friend who she thought was a girl is really a boy. So well, let's see what Stella has to do. It says chapter five. Want a cookie? It has M&Ms in it. Do you like M&Ms? I'm in the middle of drawing sea creatures during class, but I immediately stop what I'm doing to consider the question. Oh, I do like M&Ms. I think. I look up, dropping my pink-colored pencil. It's Stanley. Stanley Mason. He's holding a box full of cookies. It's been a few weeks, and I've managed not to speak to him once since falling down on the first day of class. I've just been too embarrassed. Even so, it's impolite to refuse a cookie. So I nod and grab one. My hand is shaking as I take a bite. My mom made them for my birthday. Stanley grins widely. I notice he has a gap between his two front teeth, much like some of you. And there's a picture of Stella and Stanley. <clears throat> oh, happy birthday, I mumble. As I chew, I notice a little cookie crumbs spit all over my shirt. I cover my mouth and my hand so I don't look like a total disaster. Thanks, Stella. What are you drawing? I shake my head no. I use my cookie-free hand to flip over my drawing. I was trying to draw a blobfish, but it looks like a pink mess. This will not be the first thing Stanley sees me draw. I only let people look at my drawings when they are perfect. Oh, okay, he says with a frown. I'm surprised. Why would he care? It's not like he wants to be friends with a klutz like me. I feel so bad, so I mumble. Thank you for the cookie. With my hand over my mouth again, Stanley looks happy. He opens his mouth as if he is about to say something. Luckily, Miss Bell says, everyone sit down. Stanley, come sit by us, says Jessica Anderson, while Ben Shaw and Chris Pollard wave over at him. I watch Stanley take a seat next to him. My mouth drops open. I'm amazed. In just a couple of weeks, he fits in already. I don't get it. Stanley also has not once looked sad or scared, not even for a second. If I had moved to a new city and a new school, I'd be terrified. Miss Bell continues, in just a little bit, we are going to have a special ceremony for Dawn. Now everyone knows Dawn, right? Dawn's the coolest, says Ben Shaw. Everyone agrees. Dawn, the school custodian, is always singing fun Beach Boy songs while he cleans. He also plays the craziest characters in our school play, like Santa Claus in the Holiday Musical. Well, Don just became an American citizen, which is really hard. You have to take a big test, not to mention there's years of waiting. Jessica Anderson says, what was he before? Miss Bell goes up to the board. She writes a bunch of words I haven't heard before. In big letters, I see visa, alien, resident, and citizen. Great question. There are a few categories. Some people just come here to visit. They get a piece of paper called a visa so they can stay a while. Don't you buy things with a visa? Says Jessica. I lock eyes with her for a second, then quickly look away. Although I've been in the same class with Jessica since first grade, she always makes me nervous. Everyone likes her, but I think she can be mean sometimes. Like when she laughed at me the first day of school for saying wrong words. Then, another time, in first grade, she told everyone in our class that I had lice. Everyone believed her except for Denny. The teacher even made me see the school nurse, and of course, I didn't have lice. Afterward, Jessica said she was sorry, but I never quite believed her. Miss Bell chuckles. Yes, you do, but that's a different visa. For instance, people who come here for college get a student visa so they can stay here the entire time they're going to school. And then there are residents and legal aliens. They have green cards. They can stay here as long as they want, but they don't have as many rights as citizens. My mouth drops open. I only have a green card. I know because mom showed it to me when we got it in the mail. I was surprised that it wasn't green at all. I don't know too much about how we got it. I remember mom was really stressed out about it. I also remember waiting in line forever. The only part that was fun was getting fingerprints done. Oh, and taking bunches of pictures for it. But still, because of this green card, I'm an alien? Miss Bell continues. After you've been a resident for a while, 
you can apply to be a citizen. Then you can vote and be on a jury. You can even run for office. What if you were born here, says Michelle? Well, then you're already a citizen, a natural citizen. I gulp again. This explains everything. I am an alien. Since Don worked so hard for us, we're going to surprise him with a celebration in the cafeteria. Miss Bell continues. We're all going to go quietly and sit in a dark room until Don arrives. Then we'll turn on the lights, stand up, and sing the Star Spangled Banner. Don't worry. We'll have a projector with the words so you can sing along. If you guys do well, there might even be cake. Everyone squeals but me. I always thought I was different, but I didn't really belong. But now it's official. I start picturing all the aliens that I've seen in movies, trying to find one that isn't so strange. If I could picture only one cute alien, I might feel better about the word. Instead, as we head to the cafeteria, I picture all the spiny, crawly, deadly ones where people are running away from. Like that one right there. When we arrive, I notice that the orchestra is on the stage. There are also some banners that read, Way to go and congrats. Because the whole school is there, I'm able to sit next to Jenny. I feel calmer when I see her, except she's not alone. She's sitting next to a girl I've never seen before. The new girl has bangs that go across her forehead and is wearing neat red glasses. My heart sinks a letter. I want to tell Jenny the bad news, that I'm an alien, but I can't. Not in front of the new girl. Stella, this is Anna, says Jenny. Hi, Stella, Anna says, waving. I make myself wave back. Did you guys know about the ceremony, I ask in a low voice. What did she say, asked Anna, looking at Jenny. Stella asked if we knew about the ceremony, says Jenny. Jenny can always understand me. It's been that way ever since we became friends in first grade. Never have I ever had to repeat anything to her once. They turn and both nod at me. Then there's a long silence. There is so much that I want to say to Jenny, but I can't. Even if Jenny weren't there, it would be too embarrassing to say it out loud. Just then the school nurse walks by and says, Here you are, girls, and gives us small flags to hold. A minute later, the cafeteria goes dark. The whole group giggles for a second, and the teachers, hush, shh, we wait in silence. Finally, we hear Dawn walking in, saying, what's going on? The lights turn on. We all stand to sing. While we're singing, I can't help but feel a little weird, like I shouldn't be allowed to sing. I wouldn't be an alien if I were still living in Mexico. I'd be a natural there. As soon as the music ends, Dawn says, thank you. This means so much. I left the Philippines for a better life in the United States. I'm honored to be an American. Don looks happy. He's even crying a little bit. I guess it's because he's no longer an alien. Everyone applauds right away, except for me. It takes me a second. But I know it would be wrong if I didn't applaud, so I force myself to lift up my hands and hit them together. Although I might feel bad, I'm still happy for Don. And it's his big day. As we clap, my mind wanders. If I became a citizen, will I finally feel normal? Will I be as happy as Dawn looks? That makes me feel a little hopeful. The cake that Miss Bell promised after the ceremony also helps. All right, that is chapter five. I'm wondering what's going to happen with Stella. She has a lot of anxious nervousness in her belly. She's feeling frightened. I hope she talks to her mom. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet again.